Was 2022 the year that had the most spectacular celebrity downfalls? Well, it sure looks like it. Whether they're famous actors, news anchors, late night hosts, or crypto billionaires, everyone on this list has fallen from grace in the worst way possible, to the point where they have completely blown up their own career, with very little chance of ever being able to redeem themselves. So it's interesting to see that sometimes not even the rich and famous are able to avoid the consequences of their own actions. And while some of these names we could have seen coming from a mile away, others are seriously surprising. So let's get into it. Here are the top 10 celebrities who destroyed their careers in 2022. Number 10, Kanye West. After making a slew of anti-Semitic statements on various platforms, the rapper has gone through a mass cancellation and has been dropped by just about every single brand he's ever worked with. Kanye has been criticized in the past for his questionable choice of words, but the backlash against him reached an all-time high when he posted a tweet saying that he was going to go DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. Ever since that moment, his anti-Semitic rhetoric has only seemed to escalate regardless of the consequences. He was locked out of his Twitter and Instagram accounts and doors started closing on him left and right. He was kicked out of his bank, JP Morgan Chase, abandoned by Vogue, Balenciaga and Gap, not to mention his major Hollywood talent agency, CAA. Eventually, he even lost his lucrative partnership with Adidas. The German sports brand called his remarks unacceptable, hateful and dangerous and said that they violated the company's values of diversity and inclusion, mutual respect and fairness. As a result, they ended all production of items under the Yeezy brand and stopped all payments to Kanye and his companies. In fact, his cancellation was so extensive that Kanye claimed he lost $2 billion in one day and he ended up losing his position in Forbes magazine's list of billionaires. They estimated that the loss of the Adidas partnership has cut his net worth from $1.5 billion to $400 million. Sadly though, Kanye still shows no signs of remorse for his actions. Number 9, James Corden. The late night host received a chorus of criticism after he was exposed for being rude to wait staff. His mean-spirited behavior has long been rumored around Hollywood, but it was never confirmed. That is, until the owner of a high-end New York City restaurant made a viral Instagram post, blasting him for his horrible behavior towards staff. Keith McNally owns a restaurant called Balthazar, and he said that Corden was the worst customer to his servers since the restaurant opened 25 years ago. He called him a tiny credit of a man and claimed in one instance, Corden demanded two free rounds of drinks for him and his friends after he presented a hair that was found on his food and said, get us another round of drinks this second. Also take care of all of our drinks so far. This way I won't write any nasty reviews on Yelp. On another occasion, he is said to have flipped out when an egg yolk omelet that his wife ordered was found to have a little egg white in it. He allegedly went ballistic and started tearing into the waiter, saying, maybe I should go into the kitchen and cook the omelette myself. According to the owner, James was so awful that he felt compelled to out him publicly and ban him from the restaurant entirely, something that is very rarely done in high-end establishments. For his part, Corden did apologize and he was eventually allowed back into the restaurant, but his squeaky clean reputation as a lovable Brit is now ruined forever. Number eight, Ned Fulmer. The internet went crazy when a video started circulating on social media of Ned Fulmer from the Try Guys kissing his employee Alex Herring at a New York City bar. Alex was one of the most well-known employees of the company and worked under Ned as the associate producer. But if that wasn't bad enough, she was engaged to her fiance Will Thayer at the time and the couple had been together for 11 years. So there was betrayal on both sides of the equation. But what made the scandal really insane was that Ned was known as a super devoted husband and a certified wife guy who loved to gush over Ariel in almost every video. He eventually became famous for it and made it into his whole brand. The man even co-authored a cookbook with her as well as a parenting podcast called Baby Steps. Just two days after the news broke out, the Try Guys announced on Instagram that Ned had been officially fired. After the post, Ned took to his own Instagram, confirming that yes, he had actually cheated on his wife. He said, family should have always been my priority, but I lost focus and had a consensual workplace relationship relationship, but nothing he could have said at that point would have won back his audience because the contrast between his on-screen image and reality was just too profound. His cheating controversy has been compared to that of John Mulaney, but realistically, Ned's reputational fall from grace was swifter than any in recent memory. Number 7, TJ Holmes and Amy Roback. Just recently, the two anchors of Good Morning America became embroiled in a crazy cheating scandal. Intense speculation had been swirling around the nature of their off-screen relationship after damning 
evidence of a workplace affair surfaced on social media. According to an extensive Page Six report, Holmes and Roback started secretly seeing each other in March this year, which is around the same time that they started training together for the New York City Half Marathon. Shocking photos that surfaced online of the pair showed them walking around upstate New York looking very cozy, and at one point even holding hands. Another set of photos taken in the weeks before Thanksgiving exposes that they went on a secret getaway to a remote cottage, and pictures were snapped of Holmes grabbing Roback's butt as she leaned into the trunk of a car. Since the story broke, the anchors have been taken off the air. ABC News President Kim Godwin announced during an internal call that they would no longer be hosting their daily 1pm show. Godwin told staffers that the affair had become too much of an internal and external distraction. She said, After a lot of thought, I am taking Amy and TJ off the air as we figure this out, explaining that while the affair was not a violation of company policy, the decision was necessary for the Good Morning America brand as a whole. Number 6. Bill Murray Back in April, the actor was accused of inappropriate behavior on the set of Aziz Ansari's film Being Mortal. Then a few months later, a bombshell report from Puck News came out, alleging that he agreed to pay $100,000 as a settlement to a much younger crew member who claimed that he kissed her without her consent and even straddled her. The incident took place in front of witnesses, as the allegations were backed up by a second staffer who saw what had happened. As a result, Disney shut down production of the movie and there's still no indication as to whether or not it will ever be completed. When the story broke, Murray immediately went on the defensive and claimed that he believed the woman had been flirting with him. Speaking on CNBC, he gave his side of the story and said it was all down to a difference of opinion. Quote, I did something I thought was funny and it wasn't taken that way. It's been quite an education for me. The world's different than it was when I was a little kid. Things change, times change. But by that point, several other celebrities had already come forward with their own allegations against him. Most notably, Murray's former co-star Gina Davis claimed that he screamed at her in front of hundreds of people while they were filming the 1990 comedy Quick Change. She said that he repeatedly tried using a back massager on her in spite of her refusals. In her memoir, she wrote, I said no multiple times, but he wouldn't relent. I realized with a profound sadness that I didn't yet have the ability to withstand his onslaught or to simply walk out. So with all the accusations now piling up against him, it's clear that Bill Murray has been exhibiting inappropriate behavior for several years. Number 5. Blueface The rapper was arrested this month on an attempted charge stemming from an incident involving firearms. The artist, whose real name is Jonathan Porter, was booked into the Clark County Detention Center in Las Vegas. According to a police statement, he was arrested on warrants for attempted with a deadly weapon and discharging a firearm at slash into an occupied structure. As a result, a $50,000 bond was set during his initial court appearance, and a preliminary hearing is scheduled for January next year. But this news is only the latest addition to the rapper's bizarre antics, and further evidence that he's on a downward spiral. Blueface rose to fame in 2018, after several of his songs went viral and inspired various memes all because of his high-pitched voice. Many social media users compared him to the cartoon character Courage the Cowardly Dog. In July of 2018, the rapper officially became a household name following the release of his hit track Tatiana, which would reach number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100, and later he would go on to release his debut studio album Find the Beat. But the fact is that he has really struggled to recapture the initial success that he saw in 2018 and 2019, when he was still fresh on the scene. With his music career on the decline, Blueface has since explored other avenues, like reality TV and OnlyFans, but these days the main reason he's been making headlines is for getting into physical altercations in public with his girlfriend Krishan Brock. So all in all, the future of his rap career has certainly been called into question. Number 4. Alex Jones The disgraced far-right conspiracy theorist was sued for claiming one of America's deadliest school massacres was a hoax. Jones founded the controversial InfoWars website and talk show, where he argued for years that the 2012 Sandy Hook massacre was a staged government plot to take firearms away from Americans, insisting that no one really died from the attack because it never happened. He even called the parents of the 20 victims crisis actors and argued that some of them never actually existed. As a result, the families of the victims claimed that his lies led to years of death threats, intimidation, and other forms of attacks from his followers, making their lives a living hell. Jones was eventually taken to court for defamation, and after a highly publicized trial, he was ordered in two judgments to pay a combined total of nearly $1.5 billion in damages, all to the families of the victims. 
In fact, the week-long trial included some truly shocking moments, like on the last day of testimony, where Jones's lawyer accidentally handed over the entire contents of his phone to the prosecution, revealing the extent of his lies. He has since filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection at a court in Houston, claiming that he has less than $2 million to his name and won't be able to pay such high amounts. Funnily enough, his legal saga is still not over, as he has a third defamation trial coming up, but he's already been banned from Facebook, Apple, YouTube, and Spotify. Number 3. Sam Bankman Freed Just a few weeks ago, he was the impressively young crypto billionaire that everyone wanted to be. At 25 years old, Sam founded one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world and became a celebrated philanthropist worth around $16 billion. He was praised as a certified genius who could be on a Zoom call with investors and play video games in another tab. But by mid-November, he found himself at the center of a colossal scandal that left his empire and his image in ruins. So what caused his downfall? To sum it up, it was a deception of epic proportions. According to a report from the Wall Street Journal, he is said to have illegally taken about $10 billion of his customers' money, all to put into his trading firm, Alameda Research. On the surface, FTX appeared to be thriving, as in the past year, it made several high-profile acquisitions and bailed out other failing crypto companies. But in reality, it was actually drowning in debt, with billions of dollars missing in customer funds. According to several news outlets, the DOJ and the SEC are now actively investigating FTX, and Sam's friends in crypto and various political circles have already distanced themselves from him in the wake of the scandal. It wasn't long before he resigned from the company altogether, as it collapsed from a surge in customers all trying to withdraw their funds, only to hit a brick wall. He since filed for bankruptcy and is now worth close to nothing. Number 2. Ezra Miller Since 2019, the actor has been involved in a growing list of controversies, many of those incidents involving some form of violence against women and inappropriate behavior towards those that are underage. But stories of Ezra's unraveling public persona really came to a head this year after a string of arrests in Hawaii seemed to set off a chain reaction. Aside from that, there were also two protective orders filed against them, one from the parents of a North Dakota teen who publicly accused Ezra of physically and emotionally harming their daughter, as well as brainwashing and other cult-like behavior. Then in early August this year, the actor was charged with felony burglary in Vermont and accused of taking several bottles of alcohol from an unoccupied residence. As a result, Ezra is reportedly facing a maximum of 26 years behind bars, as well as over $2,000 in fines if found guilty. With the star of their new $200 million flash movie buried in legal battles, at one point, Warner Brothers and DC were considering replacing them. However, we now know this will not go ahead, likely because most of the film has already been shot and is now in post-production. And from a financial perspective, they've likely discovered that it would just be too expensive to replace the lead role. But the decision to keep Ezra in the DCEU was a controversial one and has been met with so much pushback that it doesn't seem like they'll be able to secure any more work after the movie comes out. And coming in at number one, Fred Savage. The actor who starred in the hint TV series The Wonder Years from 1988 to 1990 was fired from serving as a director and executive producer of the reboot in May this year. At the time, a spokesperson for 20th Television released a statement saying, Recently, we were made aware of allegations of inappropriate conduct by Fred Savage, and as is the policy, an investigation was launched. Upon its completion, the decision was made to terminate his employment as an executive producer and director of The Wonder Years. So what happened exactly? Well, six female crew members came forward alleging that Fred and a much younger woman on set had a strange relationship that made them all uneasy. They also claimed that his conduct on set included yelling and screaming at staffers and one attack of a former crew member. The woman filed a complaint to Disney and spoke to an HR executive about their concerns in February, and an investigation was started immediately and Fred was subsequently barred from set. For his part, the actor denied the allegations in a statement to NBC News, saying, Since I was six years old, I have worked on hundreds of sets with thousands of people and have always strived to contribute to an inclusive, safe, and supportive work environment. It is devastating to learn that there are co-workers who feel that I have fallen short of these goals. He went on to claim that some incidents reported absolutely did not happen, but that any person who feels hurt or offended by his actions is one person too many. But clearly, that non-apology wasn't enough to restore his reputation, and he'll likely have trouble getting back on a film set of any kind. Well, that's everyone that we have on the list for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.